I got the first pick. We got Trav, we got OBJ coming. They got two quarterbacks. We're not doing that. CJ, this is Look at all types of skill levels over here. Here we go, Randy. Look at that blocking top here. He's all camping. So I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Happy 4th of July. You can hear the fireworks going off all over the place. And um, no cookout, no big cookout or anything this year, of course, uh, had some problems to take care of and an illness in the family and so on and um, I had to come home and take care of some business here before I get back with my lady. You know I realize I am truly blessed to have uh, my partner in crime so to speak. I know somebody's going to take that and say see I said I told you he was a crook. Um, it's an old saying so to speak. I don't know if you guys saw Michael Parsons and Tom Brady and C.J. Stroud and Dell Beckham Jr., um, Damar Hamlin, all of these players all out on the beach having a great time playing, you know, football and all that before Michael Rubin's white party. And I don't know if you know who Michael Rubin is. Michael Rubin is 51-year-old. He is the head of Fanatics. And Fanatics, um, interesting thing with Fanatics. I got my first taste of Fanatics um, two weeks ago at the autograph signing. At the autograph signing, this was right after Trevor Lawrence signed his $275 million deal. Michael Urban was there getting his autograph signed. He was 150. Charles Haley was there, was like 85. You know, Michael Urban with three rings, Michael, uh, uh, Charles Haley with five rings, and Trevor Lawrence. You know how much Trevor Lawrence was? Do you? Trevor Lawrence was more than Michael Urban and Charles Haley combined. Think about that for one second. Trevor Lawrence was more than Charles Haley and Michael Urban combined. And I was like, you gotta be kidding me. And he showed up late, and he was late. But it was funny because they were saying that everybody who's with Fanatics, you end up paying through the nose for. And it was kind of funny because 
when they were setting up, you know, they have all the tables set up for the players to put the name up on, on there, so you know, you know, your guys there and so on. And with fanatics, they end up putting their own tablecloth on that's fanatics and things like that. And you have to make sure that it is only NFL licensed uh, merchandise that they'll sign. $275. $275 for Trevor Lawrence's autograph after signing a $275 million contract. I get it. There's very few people on the planet who can do what they do. But damn, when you start thinking about how much it costs for NFL Sunday ticket and that there's the lawsuit out there, of course, for um, them basically creating a price fixing and making a premium product and making us pay through the nose as they continue to now go to multiple streaming platforms instead of just saying, you know what, we'll just make one platform for you guys for the NFL and you pay one price. No, you've got to have multiple apps on multiple different sites and everything else that they literally are taking every single penny that they can get above and beyond. At what point... At what point does greed no longer take over? Wow. That one just blew me away. Um, that one really blew me away. There's nothing wrong with making money. I'm not going to say that there's anything wrong with doing that. But again, at what point you say, I got more than enough for my share for me, my kids, my grandkids, my great-great-grandkids, and their kids. And um, look out for the fans. Um, Today's been a bad day for me with being a Cowboy fan. I think so many things have just hit me the wrong way. And you start to wonder, why do we go through all this? Why do I do YouTube? And take the abuse that I do. Okay, I don't know what this propane is doing in this tank. Because it goes to just about out. And then sky high. Maybe it's here in the fireworks and it wants to join in. I don't know. Now watch. It'll go down. And just about go out. Look. I'm not touching the handle for then I turn it back up, and it doesn't want to go back up. So I don't know if the tank is just getting low and it's on its last gas or what it is, but it's kind of crazy. Well, we're going to see what we're going to see. The crazy thing about what the Cowboys do and Jerry Jones and Stephen Jones and happenstance and all the crap they put us through. The crazy thing is somehow those guys end up bailing them out. And I have to say, I have to say, if you're a player, if you're Dak, if you're CD, and you're Micah, and you sit here and you look and what the Cowboys have done versus what other teams have done 
along with not paying me. I have to look at this and say, maybe I need to go elsewhere or I need to get a max contract. Not, if it's not going to be about winning Super Bowls, then I'm going to make sure I get paid handsomely. listening to the fireworks is kind of sad. Roscoe used to go crazy here in the fireworks. It reminds me of how much I miss Roscoe and Simba. Well, good people. Happy 4th of July. I appreciate y'all. Let me go back in here and see if this drain is draining. Remember, tell the people you love how much you love them. You might not get the chance again, good people, and I love you.